Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Prairie Banana here with Goo God. God, it's good to have you on the show today. Let's and, go. Uh, good yeah, morning. Man. Good times in crypto. Everything's going sideways. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is next? Coach, it's good to have you in here and tricky. Um, so sorry to keep you guys waiting. Um, we were figuring out a little technical thing. But I, I've been in... This is me. I've been into this alien thing for a couple months now, and I'm like really excited about it. And reached out to you, God. He's the gentleman. He's like he is my alien dad. I have different dads <laughs> in the crypto system, and he's my alien dad. He brought me into this thing. So now that I have my head a little bit wrapped around it, and I've seen some of the yield that's coming in. I'm like, let's let's get on stream and just talk about this thing because I would like to see other people holding it or getting a position it's not expensive to get a position in alien and we're going to talk about some of those positions too on the debt but what we're going to do is we're going to go over the dap and then we're going to review the chart real quick this shouldn't be a, a long stream but we're just going to kind of flow and let it go how's that sound good god sounds good to me brother it's the perfect time too because you like like you said, right? What do we do when the charts go sideways? Well, that proves to us that it's time to accumulate because that's when the big money accumulates. That's when the smart money accumulates. That's when the whale money accumulates. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm none of the above, but I strive to be. So I'm gonna copy what they do, and I'm gonna do the same. So it's I think this is perfect timing that we're doing this. I'm willing to call the bottom right here. And I think um, firmament inbound for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, the smart investors buy the red candles and they sell the green. Absolutely. Buy the red, sell the green. And I tell that's people how it's all always... the time. Inverse trade your emotions. When you see those huge green candles and you want to be greedy and you want to keep deploying capital, that's when you take some off the table. And then when you see these red candles and you're like, damn, should I take some off the table? Damn, I'm fearful of this investment. That's when you double down and you add more. Once I learned how to properly do that, I have never, ever lost ever since. That's a fact. Wow. wow. I don't know what it's like. Personally, this is Prairie Banana. I don't know what it's like to be afraid of, well, a little bit of buying red candles. Bought the top of the market in 2021. And uh, wrote it all the way down, dollar cost averaging the whole time. Um, and yeah, I don't have any, I don't have much fear about buying red candles, but that's, that's just me. I understand why it would be a little, why people would be a little bit fearful and why they would buy the green candles instead. Because um, we, we're all, the tendency is to do that, right? Yep. yep. I mean, and we've been there, right? Like you said buying the top in 2021 so guys like you and i we feel fomo when we see the red candles that's our fomo bro <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. this is our time yeah so i i come into my office this morning and i open up <clears throat> my computer and I, I look at um alien and it had gained another zero and i think i think it did it gained a zero this morning and i'm like like I already got my bag filled and I'm very content and I'm like fighting myself wanting to buy more. <laughs> <laughs> I, like so. I said, when we see the red candles, that's when guys like you and I, we feel FOMO. I mean, it, it's the same thing with me, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. What a concept, right? Buying red what candles. A what a concept. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get into this dap. <clears throat> so let me see if I can do this real quick because there is some music on this site when you pull it up. Let's go. That shit gets me hype, bro. <laughs> so when I first got into Alien and I hooked my wallet up to this dab, I was immediately impressed. And you're going to see on the next page um, why why people are impressed when they when they uh, connect their wallets to this thing but do you want to 
like obviously i have the controls here do you want me to scroll down or do you want to just move straight to the dashboard oh yeah no this this website is is amazing man this website is uh really kind of what helped us to get um the acknowledgement that we deserve then the, the notice that we deserve because just a lot of people were not educated on alien and the old website really did no justice for us so you know people they need to see things they need to feel things they need to see what's going on so somebody in the in the alien chat they suggested hey why don't we have all these numbers that you're putting out in these tweets and all these numbers that you're telling us here in the chat why don't you put it all in the website so uh, that's when i reached out to a very close friend of mine and i said we need we need to build a website bro like you know and he says hey no problem give me a week and i said all right let's go <laughs> and um here you have it the v2 website and the d app and oh man it's been a um a real breath of fresh air bro and um they're even going to do some things to improve on it actually and I'm, i told them to hold off for now um i want to see i want to see post chain pls get bullish again right because right now we're going kind of sideways we're even chopping a little down right let's keep it 100 mm -hmm. but we know what that means right so this is the, this is the time to accumulate it's not really the time to present these new products now when post chain goes back and you know to the to the upper teens then we'll, we'll we'll push out the new the new the new improvements we'll say and um sure. yeah we'll get the train going all over again like i say all the time crypto is cyclical two weeks ago three weeks ago it was alien ptgc last week it was solana this week is base next week it'll be dgen chain and you know these things move in cycles and guess what post chain everybody will come back you understand Richard Hart knows what he's doing. 50 weeks, 50 weeks to shake out the weak hands, right? We're almost there. And this is why it's getting so crazy now because we're so close to the finish line. It's like, all right, we got to shake this tree as violently as possible now. Do you understand? Because yeah. that's it. it. It's game time, bro. It's game time. Right on. Okay. So I think we should probably start with like the elevator pitch. You know, what is alien um i mean sheesh uh, it depends who you ask right <laughs> but for me um personally alien is for the people alien is all about giving back um whoever added this liquidity this huge ptgc whale um he was super benevolent with it you know what i mean he gave away close to forty thousand dollars that turned into four hundred thousand dollars, I think a little bit more, and airdrops, you know, and then just the way that the tax system was set up, none of none of the taxes go to any type of marketing wallet or anything. The whole tax structure is set up to benefit PTGC and the whole ecosystem. So no matter how you interact with Alien, it don't matter if you buy it, if you hold it, if you transfer it, if whatever you do, interacting with Alien it benefits ptgc and that that was the main focus right because i literally have at least a dozen dms from people telling me that ptgc saved their life ptgc wow. made them life-changing gains ptgc saved their marriages ptgc allowed them to go on the vacation for the first time in a decade like i've gotten so many messages like that and it's, it's like, oh my goodness, you know what I mean? And that's why I support aliens so much the way I do, because the way that it was set up from the very beginning was just all about giving back to the people and to show people out there that there's protocols on post chain that they're not greedy, malicious money grabs, that they're for the people. All you gotta do is hold it. You ain't gotta stake it, you ain't gotta lock it, you ain't gotta do nothing. All you gotta do is buy the shit, hold it, transfer it around a few times maybe even sell it a little bit and you're gonna earn an amazing yield right and that that's proven i mean uh, we can go back to the d app if you want and you can see the numbers there it's it's kind of loopy bro right these numbers right here because we, we know that like um no alien. um well yeah th these numbers th this is basically the tokenomics but uh, i mean and um and the actual app itself 
where where you see all the buys and the burns and everything. Dashboard, dashboard. yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to the dashboard. And just to back up a little bit, so um, Alien was developed. It's it's a tax token. It's a six percent tax, and mm -hmm. whoever the founder was built it to be. It it's a. Would you say it's a fair launch crypto? Is that the correct term? 100%. That shit was launched in the middle of the night, bro. I woke up and I saw it. I saw people sending it to me. And I'm like, what the hell is this? It was like an 80K market cap. And what it is, what is it now? It's right up here. All right now, it's a it's a $1 million market cap. All-time high was $5 million market cap. So, yeah, people did really good. There was also a FUD event as well. Somebody tried to go and pitch it on Shell Tank. They knew absolutely nothing about it. So, of course, the Crypto Kings, they fudded it and was like, no, it's garbage. And I said, whoa, you guys, you know, somebody, as a matter of fact, uh, my friend DJ and Gem Hunter, he hit me up and said, yo, Alien is nuking. And I said, why? He said, B Roots and Ian fudded it. So oh. I started laughing. I said, for real? He said, yeah, some idiot got up there and started trying to pitch it, but he knew nothing about Alien. I said, don't worry about that, bro. We'll fix it. I waited till the next chill tank to come, right? And I, all I did with that whole week was just make sure that I educated people, made sure that I didn't put out like moon boyish type tweets. And I just put out educational tweets to show people what the protocol actually does, how it benefits PTGC, how it benefits Pulse Chain as a whole and everything else. And just showing the data, and this people just came pouring in. And then I went to the next shield tank and I didn't get on stage. I just made a tweet in the comments and I said, hey, listen, you guys fudded it at 40K. Here we are at 140K. <laughs> Let me teach you about it a little bit. And I taught yeah. them about it a little bit. Bro, within two weeks, we were at four mil. Good two job, weeks man. from 40K to four mil. As a matter of fact, really? it was from 32K was the very bottom because big wheels were capitulating. So 32K to a four million dollar market cap in two weeks and then another week later it was a five million dollar market cap and now we found our floor at a million dollar market cap it, it, the, Bingo. it the underdog story gets no better than that bro <laughs> <laughs> we need more community members like you man <laughs> oh that's great i love that story <clears throat> and you know what it is too it uh tg zen is a huge inspiration for me and i've got so many hours just learning with him one-on-one -on -one and talking with him one-on-one -on -one is that a lot of that stuff rubbed off on me. So when it came time to we have to actually educate people on these protocols, oh, I was game. I was so game. I said, let's do it, bro. <laughs> let's do it. And that, you know, I got a lot of my inspiration from him, bro, to be honest with you. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> that's good, man. All right. Well, let's, um, let's, let's, can you just like walk us through the dap? I got the mouse here and I, I can do the scrolling for you, but let's just kind of talk about this, this D app, as you put it. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, it speaks for itself right here, right? You could see, you know, how much in rewards everybody has earned uh, and, you know, not only in token amount, but in dollar amount as well, the value, right? And then you could see the right. amplifiers that have been burnt. Because, I right, mean, right. Alien and PTGC, they're some of the two top most burnt tokens on Pulse Chain. And, you know, we're really, uh, we're getting the whole ecosystem up there because um, Alien is burning a lot, dude. It's burning PTGC, it's burning 808, it's burning burn, and it's burning liquid. If you go and you look, you can see that all of the uh, liquid that has been burnt so far, like 90 something percent of it has been from Alien. So pretty much all of the burns really? that have happened on Liquid so far is because of the Alien protocol. And if wow. you go to 808, you can see we have a big chunk in there as well. So Very when it when it comes to when it comes to burning tokens, it, it doesn't get much better than Alien. And then when it also, when it comes to earning rewards and other tokens, you know, because Alien is 100% deflationary. There's nobody earning Alien anywhere. The only way to tap in, into our liquidity pool is with the tokens. And right. I, I don't even know how much is in there now. I know we got really high in the liquidity and the V1 
And that that's all that's all burnt liquidity. That's all from the protocol, from doing what it does, because part of the tax structure is for auto LP. So I mean, um it, it, Alien is a real beast, bro. And just the LPs that are set up and the things that it's paired with, it's really, really just it, it's set up for longevity, you know? And I mean, it came out November 18th. Right, my son's birthday. I, I didn't even realize that it was my son's birthday when it came out. <laughs> I, I realized it maybe like a month ago. I was looking at son. I said, Oh wow, this came out on my son's birthday. No wonder I was like immediately drawn to it, right? It was like some kind of sure. weird uh universe energy drawing me to it. <laughs> so um and you yeah. I mean you could see um really the volume. I mean, we 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 had a nice run when we had a nice run. The volume was really great, but prior to that is when all of these numbers really were established, you know. So these numbers, I would say, you know, the the at least three quarters of those numbers were done prior to we had our high volume run, and even our high volume run wasn't even really that high volume. So that just goes to show me that we still have so much fuel in the tank. And I think, um, you know, the only thing that's kind of holding us back right now is the same thing that's going to send us into the firmament. And that's Hart's Law. So you have to appreciate that. It works both ways. Post goes up, PTGC mm. goes up. Alien goes up. Post goes down, PTGC goes down. Alien goes down. The whole mm. ecosystem, everything goes down. So you have right. to keep that in mind. We're having... And I'll tell you this right now, we're at the bottom of post chain. I ran it through all my models and everything else. We are literally at the bottom. If it goes anything under this, it's because of manipulation and I will be backing up the truck. I'm letting you guys know that shit right now. So, you know, with that being said, bro, with post chain being at the bottom, these, you know, the community's kind of being quiet, buying the most ridiculous of things, you know, um uh what what is it uh a uh, penis and gluteus and all this stupid stuff it's it's ridiculous bro you understand yeah uh, there's, there's, there's some, hmm. yeah don't it, get me started that's what man. i'm saying bro it, like, it is like, gotten all your old boys out there man like you have their is, mouth washed out with soap <laughs> this is what i'm saying bro like and and i love to degen you know what i mean i got I, you know degen is in my name but you gotta kind of draw a line somewhere. Like at the end of the day, we wanna we wanna show, you know, big, smart, <laughs> I guess you could say institutional people, right? That we're more than just uh penises with anuses and, and stupid stuff like that and the racist meta and all this crazy stuff. Like, no, 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 no. Look at post chain. Be attractive to people, right? Yeah, you you <laughs> My father always told me, he said, show me who you with and I'll tell you who you are. Birds of a feather flock together. So yeah. if I'm running around with a bunch of rich, smart people earning real yield on, you know, truly yeah. decentralized protocols, that, that's my group. That's my chat. As opposed yeah. to the guys running around with, you know, things and their things. It, 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 it's, 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 it's fun for a couple minutes, but that's not what, you know, this should be built on. Yeah. One of the things that I like about this protocol is you can get a position, especially right now for relatively inex inex inexpensive <laughs> relative to where it's likely going. Okay. So you can get a position and hold it. And as you hold that position, because the supply is continually being burnt, your percentage of the supply is going to increase over time. And we can see right here, we started at 1.1 trillion total supply. And right now the supply is down to 833 billion. So it's been, it's reduced by nearly 25%. And when did this, you said November 15th. So 18, like but it, you can go to November stats. 18th. If you click on stats, it, it, it'll show you more. So you can see right there, so far, 20, oh, check this out, 24.28%. You, you guys know what the, what 
28 is, right? Yeah. Two eights. It's the number of it, it's it 28 is the number of wealth. So for me nice. to come and randomly see 24, 28. So I see 24, that's two fours, four plus yes. four is eight. And then we move on to the next. It's a clean 28. Yep. That's, well, that's those are call me crazy. Call me whatever you want to call me. Those are bullish indicators for me. These are the type of things that make me want to deploy capital. Call me whatever you want to call me. 100%. This is the type of yeah. crazy stuff I go off of. Two times four is eight. And yeah, two times eight is 16 divided by two is eight, obviously. Yeah. Do you want to scroll down? Because there's more down here. Oh, go yeah. Go through it, bro. You can okay. you can see what I was talking about. I mean, 25% burned in four months is <laughs> impressive. Or, fi or five with, months, with, whatever it is. With relatively low volume at that, bro. So wait till really post chain really gets going and, and you know everybody like my like my boy Viber Finance said the other day the casino was dead right it's only thirty million dollars in volume well guess what our billion dollar volume days they're coming I promise you that I could bet my life on that you understand <laughs> they're coming they are coming you understand and so now is the time that you get ready for that now is the time when you're winning on Solana roll it into what is dead and what is flat. I've been doing this for, I've been doing this since I've met Viber Finance. He's the one that put me on. He was like, yo, look at this, look at this, and look at this. You're winning hard over here. Look at the stuff that's dead. And I said, all right, I'll check it out. I started looking. They started running. I started listening. That's exactly what you do. If you're on base chain and you're printing, you know, tens and twenties of thousands of dollars, consider putting 10, 15, 20, 25 percent of that into post chain. You don't have to get into the alts, but at least put it in post chain because then like when post story. chain starts running, you start going into the alts and guess what? You're spending less post chain and you're getting more alt. And I say, oh, I don't have to say alien. I don't have to say PTGC. I don't have to say A1A. I don't have to say Texan. I don't have to say none of the, these, you know, basically blue uh, of potential future blue chips. I don't got to even say them by name. A lot of us already know what they are. But now is the time where you start selling that high green and start buying that low red or that flat red or that red that looks like it's accumulating or that red that got you scared to say, hey, man, I'm fearful of this investment or I'm doubtful of this investment or I'm unsure about this investment. The hardest and the easiest thing to do in crypto is the inverse trade your emotions. Once you get that shit down packed, there is no stopping you. I promise you this. <clears throat> okay, so let's review the leagues. All right, I'm I'm accustomed to a certain league um, set up. You know, one percent to whale, uh, 0.1 percent is a shark, and so on. And that's percent of the total supply, or the circulating supply in this in this case. Then why are the leagues set up different? This is the first time I've seen this, like this, this arrangement. Yeah, I like I like this arrangement. <laughs> is, it, like is it just so you could have different sea creatures in there, or or, or what? Um, it's basically to include everybody because you you have your Poseidons that are coming in and seeking real yield, right? And then you have your turtles and your crabs that. You know, they got airdropped and, you know, maybe they didn't realize it. Maybe they sold it. They have some dust. So this is just kind of, you know, to give a, um, as proper of a metric as possible to show, you know, the the true distribution, really. Right. And I would add that, you know, as, as the value of each token increases, obviously getting more tokens the, the possible possibility of that decreases. So, I mean, in time, you know, it might cost, you know, quite a bit more to get a turtle position, but at least you can get a turtle position and, least, and be on this chart. That's probably one of the reasons you built it this way. Yeah. Right. Um, and plus, you know, we, like I said, this is the, com whatever the community wants, the community gets right. So the community has suggested something like this, so I, I told the website guys about it and they did it like in the same hour. It was it was kind of simple. So it's like once the community asks for something, bro, they get it. You know, the community told me one day they said, yo, pump alien. I said, OK. 
and it and, and that and then it ran on a it went on a crazy run. <laughs> I was like, yo, what what happened? Like, you know, I guess they just they want to see if I'm gonna do something. One guy told me send them some tokens. I sent them some tokens and he brought this whole crazy whale group in right after that. So it was like, what are you guys trying oh. to do? Like test me or something? Like, <laughs> I don't care about money, bro. I will give you all of this shit. I like to see people win. That is my dopamine hit. That is my high hey. green chart that I love to see is when other people get to enjoy that. That I've that's that's that, what Bible. does it for me. Yeah. I like Viber Finance's comment here. He says Alien and PD PTGC are the are two of the biggest winners on Pulse Chain. I agree. Absolutely. I look at, I look at Alien as PTGC's little brother. So yep. Alien is a leverage play on PTGC, which is a leverage play on the Pulse Chain, which is a leverage play on, on Ethereum. So PTGC is the mothership. And my I always recommend, not financial advice, of course, but get your position in PTGC and then look at some of these other uh like the amplifier tokens if you want to look at those or alien they all kind of work together because the amplifier tokens and alien are designed to burn TTG, ttgc pttc and that's what alien does and um when you hold it you are earning these four amplifier tokens ptgc 808 burn and liquid they show up in your wallet automatically you don't have to do anything they just appear and we're gonna you want to yeah. go uh, fully, you want fully to decentralized bro fully decentralized every all the tokenomics everything that you see there is fully autonomous and uh, um you see all that v1 lp all of that is burnt lp you only have access to that with the alien tokens similar to how it is with ptgc you only have access to it with the tokens you understand so these things live on for fur as long as there is post chain which is a fully decentralized network that nobody could ever take away from us ptgc and alien live on forever yep yeah they're, they're immutable smart contracts both of these and they've both been live for you know five or more months with no hiccups and in answer to revel's question i'm sure i included goo gods um, Twitter account in the description. So, and if not, just go to Twitter and type in G U U and you'll see him. Yeah, it's um G U U G O D seven seven seven, Google God triple seven. Um, just just be careful. There's a lot of people that try to copycat. I do have some people that try to scan my friends and DM and stuff like that. We catch them all the time. So just just make sure that you know. Um, whenever you click on my profile, you see you got some mutual followers and things of that nature. And yeah, yeah just just, just make sure a, you're being safe. Do you have a blue check mark by chance? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I do too. And then by I'm the way, also yeah. on um on Telegram too. Um I switch up a lot on Telegram just because there's so much scam on Telegram. So if you see me on Telegram right now, I'm running around with a Kanye West. PFP with the hugest gold chain you've ever seen in your life. So if you run into that guy, that's me. If you run into the guy with the alien PFP, he's probably trying to copy me. So just kind of be careful. <laughs> right on. Okay. Anything else in this area up here, you got? Um, oh yeah, we, we covered that pretty good. Um, you know, you could even, um, for those that, you know, don't know, you could put your wallet address in there and you can check your rewards. That's been a pretty cool feature too. Yep. So I, I got this wallet address off the blockchain and I popped it in here and what you can do, this is really neat. You can add, you click on edit wallets <clears throat> and you can add other wallets. So if you have alien on one or more, on more than one wallet, you can add it here and then just save it. And then you don't even have to have your wallet connected. You don't even have to have your, your Rabi or MetaMask connected. You're going to be able to go to this site, this DAP, and see your rewards for all of your wallets. <clears throat> and I've really enjoyed having I just check this thing like every day. And it's really cool to see them come in. You can see <clears throat> the amount of 
alien that you hold, the dollar amount, your total rewards here, pending rewards, and then your ranking over here. I have a question about the rewards. So, you know, every now and again, I see this. And by the way, it looks to me, and I noticed this this morning, I was looking at my own account. PTGC is just a fuzz and more value um, than the other three tokens. And I don't know that I have noticed that consistently, but I noticed that this, uh, this morning. And I thought that was interesting, especially because... Alien is PTGC's little brother. That's how I put it. And yeah. they complement each other. And yes, these other tokens are important. The amplifiers are. But I think more importantly, there's the relationship between Alien and PTGC. Absolutely. I agree, bro. I agree. Um, the amplifiers, I, I, I was there when the switch got turned on for them. I seen PTGC go... It, it was somewhere like $1.2 million market cap straight to a $4 million market cap, like wow. in the blink of an eye. Like I didn't get to see no transactions, no, no, in the blink of an eye, bro. And I said, okay, now I understand the power of the amplifiers. This is why I have, okay. So nobody knows this. This is an exclusive. I'm pretty banana right now. Okay. I'm letting it be known in public. Finally, I was Yay. 100 percent against the amplifiers oh, i really? said this is the i said this is the stupidest thing ever you guys are going to kill the project you guys are starting to, to create a whole bunch of more tokens on top of this token this is no good this is a horrible look you guys don't know what you're doing i'm so angry i'm mad i'm this i'm that i was totally against it okay then they said bro just relax just watch and i said okay I'm sitting there. I sold a little bit. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. I sold a little bit and I said, I'm going to watch this play out and I'm going to be there to say, I told you so. <laughs> well, guess what? I put the biggest shack foot in my mouth ever, bro. You understand? Um, that guy said, I saw the oh, switch. Man. It went from 1.2 mil to 4 mil. And I said, okay, now I understand the power. I bought my position back higher. And I said, I like this amplifier thing. Let's do it. And we started going crazy with the amplifiers, bro. And they all just started pumping and they were mooning. And I was calling them everywhere. And I was going crazy with them because I felt so bad that I gave the team such a hard time over these amplifier tokens. And then they came out and they did exactly what they said they were going to. And me, I kind of still had my bear market PTSD. It was like, come on, you just launched a successful token. Now you're trying to do another one already? Nah, man, I'm out, you know? And it, wow. it, was, it was completely the opposite of that. You know, the team, they really proved a lot to me and really showed me the way and, you know, helped me to really grow in this space and to really, you know, really build friendships and kind of mentorships too, because I'm learning a lot from them. And that's that's one of the main reasons why I'm so bullish on the amplifiers is because in the beginning, I was just totally against them. I saw how beneficial they are. And then when I saw the tokenomics of Alien and saw how Alien was going to just do all this crazy stuff with the amplifiers, and I knew how much the amplifiers benefit T PCGC. So I said, this is a no-brainer, bro. I'm putting this on my back, and um, I'll be the face of the project. I'll, I'll do it all. You understand? And that's where we at, bro. That's what, you know, we hit. <laughs> wow. So I wasn't there, just so you guys know. I was not there for the launch of the amplifier token, so I wasn't aware of, of that. Um, <clears throat> and you touched on the, the bear market, so we all just – lived through the bear market, assuming we all did. Something I picked up this week from Crypto Kong is that, and this this was this was very important for me, and it may be important for you. <clears throat> we are all, let me just put words, let me just put this on you. We are all suffering, suffering from recency bias. We all are thinking about crypto <clears throat> at, in light of the most recent depressed, bear market that that we are in or just coming out of 
Um, and I got this from Crypto Kong, who got it from Richard Hart. Recency bias. So we forget, along with that, we forget how high crypto can go. And this is where we need to be cautious. When we are at that high, we need to recall how low it can go. So we need to be big boys and, and think about where we are in the cycle. And right now we need to be thinking about how high can this go? I'm not selling any of my token because they're, they're going higher. I know that. I, I, I know it intellectually, but I don't know it emotionally. I will know it emotionally. And I think we all will. Big facts, bro. Big facts. And like I said, when you start getting that feeling that, oh, my God, this is never going to stop. Let me go and get some loans and let me take out a second mortgage on my house. Do me a favor. Sell half of your bag and then go back to it in three days and tell me if you feel the same. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Dude, I want to talk about these. These amplifier tokens, I know we're here for alien, but I mean, we got these things right in front of us. And if you, if we hold alien, we are going to benefit from these. So, and you could talk about, I mean, if you're holding alien, you're getting all of them, you know, and you're getting, you're getting all of them. And then by that, not, not only are you getting all of them, you're also getting pulse because uh, liquid and burn reflect pulse. So that's where I was going. What a concept. That's where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> So you hold alien, then you're going to get burn and liquid into your into your wallet automatically, because burn and liquid are also earning reflections, and they get reflections and pulse. So the potential exists for you to, you know, you're going to have gas money coming into your wallet every day. If you want more of that gas money, and I I, I did this, I I beefed up my burn position and now i i may never have to buy pulse for gas again you can do the same never with never bro if you own nice positions and burn and liquid you'll never have to pay for gas out of your pocket ever again it will all be done through the rewards that you earn mm -hmm. rebel has a question here how do we work out how many reflections we get you don't it's based on volume so the more volume we have the more rewards you receive the less volume you have the less rewards you will see but the beautiful thing about that is is that i i kind of don't know how this works but it works like this you earn more rewards on the way down as opposed to on the way up which is is i think i think that's not a glitch i think that's a feature I think I've heard this before. You said we earn more rewards on the way down than we do on the way up. Correct. Okay, but you don't know how to explain it? I don't know how it works. I really don't know how that works, but oh, it, that's wow. how it's worked. That's how it I works. Really uh, it, it, you know what it is? With All right, so I'll give you guys a little bit alpha. And any, um, and any rewards protocol, right? Um, it's all paid through through the V1, right? So the V1 pool has to be big, right? Because that's how your rewards are getting paid out. You understand? That's why there is an auto LP tax for Alien because there's going to be so much rewards being paid out. You need some, something has to replenish that LP, right? So it's, it's something through that V1 pool, bro. I, I, I don't really understand 100% how it works, but that's how it works. You earn on the way up and then you earn even more on the way down. Like you get more with the cells. And even like even you and I, um, we might not see the rewards going straight to our wallets and we'd be like, hey, what's going on? But all we have to do is buy, sell or transfer alien and bam, all the rewards, they it gets triggered and it goes right to the wallet. So I kind of don't know how that works 100% behind the scenes, but I know that that's how it works, that that's how it's set up. And I'm not, I'm not going to argue with it. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <clears throat> so and I wanted to talk about that. How did the pending rewards go into the total rewards? I mean, you, just, you just said that, but 
I see them sometimes go across, not go across, but you know, it, it suddenly shows up and I didn't do anything to trigger it. So tell us how that works. Um, so I don't think you get it all. I think you'll still have, like, let's say you, you, you'll get a nice drip. I think you will still have pending rewards after that until you make a transaction. Once you make a transaction and ban, it triggers all of it. That makes sense. Because I've noticed, I've noticed that with myself too, because I'll say, okay, I got this much 808, right? And I say, okay, cool. I'll come back to it tomorrow. I have more 808 now, but I did nothing. So now if I transfer a little bit of alien, boom, now I got double or triple the amount of, of 808. So I, I kind of don't know how that's set up, but the way I think of it is that they release the drip to you to say, hey, you got something over here. Maybe you want to transact with me a little bit. Maybe you want to feed the protocol of six percent. You know, maybe maybe they're trying to tempt me or something. That's kind of how I look at it. And it's like, okay, I'll buy a little bit more. You know, and get a whole bunch. <clears throat> what I gotta do? I gotta buy a hundred alien. What's a hundred alien? Uh, ten cents. You know what I mean? And I get, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, ten dollars in rewards. You can't beat that. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. That's how you can trigger your pending rewards. Just buy a little bit of alien, just a, a fuzz. You could buy one or that's it. Literally. Yep. Yep. Okay. I like that. I like <laughs> giving that. Giving out alpha nugget. this morning, you see? <laughs> Golden nugget. Yes, sir. Okay. I want to go back to, I'm going to show this comment here, but um, I want to go back to, I don't know. Did we talk about where the uh, taxes are distributed? Was that on this page? Here, here, uh, here's yeah, where. the tokenomics. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yep. Tokenomics, yeah. So maybe you can maybe you can walk through this. I mean, this is where the this is where that six percent tax goes. Yeah. So you can maybe. see, so so you have the buy and burn aspect of the tokenomics, and then you have the rewards part. So basically. Whatever is doing in buy and burning is also doing and rewarding as well, because um, the kind of the way I mean I can't speak on why and how it was built, but I can assume and I can speculate, and I could say, all right, buy and burn tokens are great, you understand, but if you're not really a maxi on that protocol, why do you care? But the rewards part of it is it, it's catchy because it gives me an incentive to hold. It, in, it gives me an incentive to increase my bags too because I'm being rewarded in real yield. I'm not being rewarded in alien, right? Because that's the biggest problem with, with I, I hate the word reflections. We don't like reflections. We say rewards, right? So that's the biggest problem with rewards tokens, right? Is that they reflect themselves. You get rewarded in, in its own token. And two weeks down the road, that token's worth nothing anymore and it's garbage. And now it's on to the next. But with Alien, it's rewarding you and a whole bunch of other tokens. That's not its own. And it's not only mm. one token. You're getting four of them. 808, yeah. Liquid, Burn, and, and PTGC. All of these have their own value. All of these have their own LP systems. All of these have the potential to run 2, 3x, 4x on their own. So all of that does now is feed right back into Alien because of the LP structures and Hart's Law. You understand? Like I said, Hart's Law works both ways. So right now we see the part of Hart's Law that we don't like. And that's good. That's healthy. I hope you're scared. I hope you feel that chill in your back. I hope you feel that knot in your stomach. You know what those are, my friends? Those are buy indicators. You understand? <laughs> Those are buy indicators. Like, yo, my buddy Viber Finance, my brother in Christ, said this last night. You understand? When everything is running high green and the euphoria is, is going off the chart over there, roll it into the stuff that people are afraid of. Roll it into the stuff that people are fudding. Roll it into the stuff that you're scared to death of. I I did it so many times, and that's how I have won the hardest, bro. So I mean, anyway, back to these tokenomics. Um, that that's it's it, it's what makes me bullish on Alien 
because it's buying and burning so much that has to do with PTGC. So it's just benefiting PTGC immensely. And then I get rewarded for trading this token as well. So for me, it's a no brainer. It, when it comes to post chain, you want to get on protocols that are going to last, that are not only attractive uh, attractive to DGENs and the meme crowd, but you also want that big money crowd. You also want that whale crowd. You also want, you know, that intellectual crowd. Like, you, you know, you, you to me, that's where it's at, bro. And PTGC showed me its card when I was introduced to it on day six. And I said, this is going to be huge. Like I said, mm. this is going to run and it, it's going to come down like everything else. But on mm. the real long term scope of things, this is going to be like a top performer, top five coin without a doubt, bro. And when it comes to outside of the Richard Hart tokens, top three, if not top two, bro. Wow. And and what does that do for, for Alien? Being that we're so tied. What does that do? <laughs> Number go up. Mm -hmm. What a concept, right? My boy coach say it all day long. What a concept. <laughs> right. All right. I want to. So just for clarity here, it's a 6% tax token. So we see these numbers add up to 3% and these 3%. So we're burning these tokens, you know, half a percent of each of these tokens and rewarding and half a percent of these tokens with each transaction with the alien every every send every buy every sell and what other scenarios is is alien burnt or does this happen so i mean you could see one percent of every transaction buy uh transfer or sell is burning alien and then okay. also one percent is auto lp as well so the those two things right there, I, I, I'll be honest with you, they're the most attractive to me. You know what I mean? Because I'm holding a token that 1% of the tax is, is, is constantly being burnt. So to me, that's giga bullish, right? Super mm -hmm. deflationary. But then on the other end, it's also getting 1% for that auto LP. So every buy, sell, transfer, we're getting more LP. In the V1, nobody has access to it. You know what I mean? So for me, like the rest of the tokenomics, they are super bullish. I'm not going to lie. But when it comes to the ones that really stick out to me is those two. Yep. Agreed. <clears throat> so I, I, with hesitation, I'll, I'll post this because they're, because I, I, I agree. <laughs> oh, wait, here it is. I'm just not going to say it out loud. <laughs> I I really like the, um, I love the PTGC staking where it's liquid and you can just, you can take your yield and add it right back into your principal. However often you want, it's on the Pulse network. So the transaction fees are cheap. And with Alien, it's basically, it basically the same. Like you said, you can hack it by buying a small, small amount of alien and you'll get all those rewards into your wallet. And then you can, and then you can do whatever you want with them. You can, you can swap them for pull for, uh, for PTGC. You can build up your bag of burn tokens. So you earn more pulse. You can do whatever you want with those. Yeah. And, and it's like some people um, refer to them as uh, the perfect DCA machine because you could take those rewards and you can DCA them into anything. If you want more hex, if you want more Texan, if you want more A1A, if you want more whatever, you know what I mean? You can you can DCA into anything because you have rewards to play with. So and me me personally, I like to compound my rewards into more alien because that means in the long run I get more rewards. And I, yeah. there's no there's no way for me to earn rewards on alien. You know what I mean? There's no way for me to earn more alien except for to buy it. So I, I simply compound my yield. I Once a month, I take all those tokens that I'm earning rewards in and I compound them all into alien. 
So now the, the next month, I know I'm going to get more rewards. That's what it's all about. I just want to earn as many tokens as possible. I do not care about the dollar amount. I'll be honest. I do not. I only care about the token amount because the tokens are going to be worth so much more in the future than what they're worth now. I can, mm -hmm. I can bet you that. Bet anything on that. Agreed. Okay, we're going to go over one last uh, page in the DAP. If you think it's one we should go over, which is the amplifier amplifier section with the pie, pie charts on it. Yeah, yeah, that. absolutely. Absolutely, we'll yeah. Ahead. Um, Coach X is meeting with everybody that wants to meet in the, in the Telegram, the PTGC Telegram in about 30 minutes. So Okay, I'm cool. Normally on Saturdays, I'm, I've been at work for like a couple of few hours by now, but I am, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in this telegram and I know Guga is going to be there too. Yeah, yeah we so. ready now. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's share this screen. And we'll all go take a, a break to grab some coffee for the next meeting. This is an exciting day in this little ecosystem. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. so I haven't seen these charts in about a week or so. So I'm going to be excited right now with some of these numbers that pop up. So okay. we have burnt 1.62% of the PTGC that has been burnt so far. So how much PTGC was burnt? I can't, I can't Five, see it on your 513 screen. million. 20, okay, so, so, so 1.62 is $26,000? Yes. That's, 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 that's what Alien has burnt of uh, PTGC so far. That's correct. Yep. That's, that's not bad, bro. <laughs> in just a few months during, uh, uh, you know, we haven't, we're not in a full, Full a blown bull run yet either. I mean, with, with, with relatively low volume, no real marketing, no none of that. I mean, geez. So, oh wow, oh wow. So eight oh eight. So out of all the eight oh eight that has been burnt so far, Alien has burnt sixty three point nine one percent of that, which oh. is twenty two thousand dollars. Wow, that's amazing, bro. Who else is burning alien? I mean, who else is burning 808? I don't know. Okay, so 808 is burning 808, but it ain't burning it the way alien is. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that that is that's a fair point, man. Because these, I don't know if you, you guys don't know, but, but the uh amplifier tokens burn themselves, and alien is actually huh, it's just one token burning that much of the 808 and all the other tokens. Well, well, three of the other tokens, right? That's crazy, and dude. What we got next? And burn is burned 24. It, Alien has burned 24% oh, yeah. of all the burn. And, and yo, that to me, that's a huge statement because burn burns a lot of itself, bro. Like a, burn, burn is an really lives burner. up to it. Yes, it lives up to its name wholeheartedly, bro. <laughs> like it does not play. But even that, we've burnt almost 24% of all of the burnt that has been burnt. That that's a quarter of the, of the percent, bro. That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Liquid did. Oh my soul, man. Oh, don't show me liquid. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 96.02. Yo, six plus two is eight. Nine plus eight is 17. One plus seven is eight, bro. This is how I see these type of things <laughs> right off the top of my head, bro. That is, uh, yo, if that is not giga bullish, bro, I do not know what is. Oh my goodness. That is amazing, bro. That is truly amazing, man. Wow. Jeez. That is. That is. 
I'm excited. Imagine man. when imagine when all these things are like ten million dollar market cap, bro. And PTGC is a hundred million dollar market cap, and Alien is a fifty million dollar market cap, bro. Oh my god, this is yo. Those numbers are gonna be insane, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's you know, go. That's what I like to see, bro. Jeez. Yo, good honest, thing I know. didn't. Good thing I didn't look at the website before I came on, bro, so you can get my natural reaction <laughs> to all this stuff, man. No, no. I was getting ready to say we didn't intend this to be like a sales pitch, but just it just kind of comes naturally. I think you must be in sales. I have a history. I am I, not in I, sales in any way, not. shape, or form, my brother. <laughs> I talk about things and I get excited about the things that I that I love and and I like this. Yeah. I like this project. Yo, um, for me. For me, what does it, bro? I like aliens, man. I grew up as a conspiracy theorist. And, yo, you want to... Well, I love aliens, right? I've always been to the whole alien narrative and everything else. My dad is a boomer, okay? My dad is a military man, okay? okay. If you told my dad 9-11 was an inside job, he, yo, that man will, will grab arms. You understand? Uh -huh. it, was, it was like that. Now, now my, I had, a, I went to, I had a meeting with him yesterday. Um, he's telling me about aliens, about how aliens are real, how he met some astronauts and they put them on to all of this stuff. And I was like, dude, if you want to get into some rabbit holes, I got some shit for you, man, that I don't know if you'll ever come back from it, bro. Yeah. He was like, yeah, send it, send it, send it. I oh, said, yeah, I'm going to send it, but make sure that you got a couple hours to watch this, and then you're going to be up at night, and you're going to be like, damn, why did I watch that stuff? I, know. <laughs> I brought the my dad in. Man. <laughs> oh, man, we could go on and on. I have one question. Oh, uh, yeah. So 808 liquid burn and energy are the four amplifier tokens in the PTG in the PTTC system. And you you have energy as well. Okay. So, um, but energy is not on this list. Why was it excluded? Um, I think it was, a, uh, I think it was a time thing. Um, and I also think that energy was primarily meant for the bots to trade. Um, because really the, the most attractive things about energy is it, it burns itself, right? But it, it has an auto LP for PTGC, not only for itself, but for PTGC, which, like I said, a lot of the rewards that everybody gets paid out is through that V1 LP. So anything that we could do to beef that up. I'm all for it. That's why I like energy. That's why I buy energy. I hold energy. I shield energy. Everybody dumped on me. Guess what? I'm still holding my energy and I'm adding to the energy as well. Because like I said, you buy the red days so that you can enjoy the green days. You don't go chasing green days because then you're going to get red days, guys. So I'm rolling shit into Alien and PTGC, bro. The yeah. whole ecosystem. Dude, I think we covered it all. I think, <laughs> I think it's been. Yo, you got stream. me talking about aliens. I'm ready to keep going now, man. But we we got we got to go. We got to go meet up with Coach, man. We got yeah. we got an important community meeting that we have to tend to. Yep. So let's end it here, guys. We'll see you over in Telegram with Coach here in about 20, 25 minutes. And thank you, everybody that showed up. Hit the like button just to help the algo. And have a good weekend, guys. Thanks. Happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy.